Hello everyone, welcome back to SSP Crack Exams. I'm Anradha and in this particular session, I am here to give you the very good news that all of you have been waiting for. Those of you who have been waiting patiently for the TGC entry this year, it's out now. And so we are going to discuss about the TGC 136 entry notification which is out in this particular session. So let's start and let's see what this notification is all about. The technical graduate course or the TGC 136 notification 2022 is going to be published by the Indian Army and it is for the male engineering graduates so that they can join the Indian Military Academy and get commissioned into the Army as an officer. So this is a very golden opportunity that you should all take because if you are a male engineering graduate, you can be into the Indian Army and serve the nation in a very easy way. Uh, because there is no written examination, you have to directly appear for the SSB interview. It's considered to be a very easy way to, uh, you know, be a part of the Indian Army. So this entry is a golden opportunity for all of you. However, the notification and the online application for TGC 136 entry will be out on 11th May 2022. It is on the same day also that you can start your online application procedure for the TGC 136 entry and the last date to apply for this entry will be 9th June 2022. So, all of you must be wondering that who can apply for this TGC 136 entry. Now, those of you who are aware, it is clear that male engineering graduates can apply. But not only that, the applications are invited from eligible and unmarried male engineering graduates for 136 technical graduate course that is TGC 136 entry, which is going to commence in January 2023 at Indian Military Academy, IMA Dehradun for permanent commission in the Indian Army. So as I said, it's a golden opportunity that no one should miss. Also, before applying for this particular entry, you should know if you are eligible for it. So let's check the eligibility criteria for TGC 136 entry. First of all, let's check the nationality. A candidate must either be a citizen of India or a subject of Nepal or a person of Indian origin who has migrated from Pakistan, Burma, Sri Lanka and East African countries of Kenya, Uganda, the United Republic of Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, Zaire and Ethiopia and Vietnam with the intention of permanently settling in India. Provided that a candidate belonging to categories 2 and 3 above shall be a person in whose favour a certificate of eligibility has been issued by Government of India. Certificate of eligibility will however not be necessary in the case of candidates who are Gorkha subjects of Nepal. So if you have all these eligibility criteria of nationality, then you can obviously apply for TGC 136 entry. Now, let us look into the age limit criteria. Now you have to be between 20 and 27 years of age as on 1st January 2023. So let me be very clear about the date of births here. Here you have to check your date of births. That is if your date of birth is between 2nd January 1996 and 1st January 2003 where your date of birth can also be on these two dates you are eligible for this particular entry. The educational qualification is a bit complicated and a bit elongated and descriptive for this entry so you have to be extra careful while checking your educational qualification criteria. First of all candidates who have passed the requisite engineering degree course or are in the final year of engineering degree course are eligible to apply. However, all final year appearing candidates whose final year fi or final semester exam will be scheduled after 1st January 2023 are not eligible to apply for this course. So if your final year or the final semester exam is after 1st January 2023, then you cannot apply for this particular entry. Also, candidates who have yet to pass their degree examination will be eligible only if they are studying in the final year of degree examination, provided that they should be able to submit proof of passing engineering degree examination along with mark sheets of all semesters or years by 1st January 2023 and also produce the engineering degree certificate within 12 weeks from the date of commencement of training at Indian Military Academy. So let me make this a bit clear to you. First of all, those of you who are at the final year of the 
engineering degree and who is going to sit for the final year examination you are allowed for this entry provided that you should see that you are able to provide the provisional mark sheets and engineering degree proof of passing the engineering degree examination by 1st january 2023 not only that once you are into the training at ima within 12 weeks of your training period you need to also provide the engineering degree certificate now if you fail to do so then your candidature will be cancelled obviously next is for induction to pre-commission training academy after final selection the minimum educational qualification is passing be or btec degree in the engineering streams notified candidates who are studying in the final year or semester of engineering degree course should not have any backlog at the time of submission of application that means all your backlog should be cleared by then any candidate if found having backlog will not be allowed to appear in SSB interview and the candidature of such candidates will be cancelled. So you need to be very very careful if you are having backlogs in your engineering degree for this particular eligibility criteria. Moving on to the next eligibility criteria under educational qualification for TGC 136 entries. Final semester or year studying candidates will be provisionally allowed to appear in SSB subject to following conditions. Now, if you are a final semester or a final year student, you will be allowed to appear in SSB but under two conditions. First of all, your cumulative percentage of marks up to the sixth semester or third year of engineering degree, up to eighth semester or fourth year of B arc that is bachelor's in architecture and up to second semester or first year of MSc in any uh, notified equivalent stream or discipline is not below the approved cutoff percentage in their respective streams. So you have to take care of that. Not only that, the second condition is after the final results are declared, the cumulative percentage of marks up to final semester or year of degree course will also be not less than the approved cutoff percentage. Now, if it is uh, failing to do so, if, if such thing happens, if uh, it is not matching with the cutoff percentage, then your candidature will be cancelled. So, the educational qualification criteria is a bit descriptive and you have to be again very extra careful while checking the eligibility along with the marks that you have got and along with the time of your passing of engineering degree. So, as I already said that TGC 136 entry is a direct entry that is you need not sit for any written exam. You can on the basis of your cutoff marks, okay, you can get selected and go for the SSB interview. It is very important for you to start your SSB interview preparation also from now on. So, for that we have provided an SSB interview online course which is available through our app. It's a detailed course where full-fledged lectures, PDF study materials and practice papers are provided for you. Not only that, we organize on a daily basis and every month the SSB interview live classes where you can interact with our SSB experts and our recommended tutors directly. They will also help you to prepare for the SSB interview and crack it. Okay, so this is a very very golden opportunity that you should not miss be a part of our SSB interview online course and you can get recommended like many other candidates have already got themselves recommended by attending our course. Uh, so obviously you need to download our app from the Google Play Store and start getting yourself enrolled into this course and start your preparation from today. Not only that, if you have a lot of SSB interviews lined up, then you can also get access to one year SSB interview online course that we have. So you will get a one year full access to all the SSB course uh, lectures and, and the study materials that are there inside the course. And you can also attend the uh, live interactive classes which uh, take place every month in monthly batches and on regular basis. So this is again a very important thing that we want to provide for all the students and candidates out there so that without any hesitation and with full focus they can prepare for one year and can attend all the SSB interviews that they have in their back. Also, uh, guys, now that we have talked about the SSB interview course and how you should start your preparation from now on, we will also now move on to and know about the vacancies for the TGC 136 entry. As you know, the official notification is not published yet. So, there are, we will not be able to tell you about the confirmed vacancies right now. We will tell you later once the full TGC 136 notification is out, which is which will be on 11th of May. Now, uh, we only can say that only the engineering streams and their access acceptable equivalent streams strictly as notified will be accepted only now if you have degrees in any other engineering streams which are not mentioned in the notification you are not eligible to apply so 
once the uh, notification is out on 11th of May, you have to check your streams and only then you can start your application process. Vacancies will be updated later as per the full TGC 136 official notification. So we will let you know about the vacancies once they are out on 11th May itself. Recommended candidates of TGC 136 course for January 2023 whose merit is not within the number of allocated vacancies of respective engineering streams may be offered to join short service commission technical course for April 2023 subject to meeting all other eligibility conditions. So uh, those of you um, whose vacancies will not be met as per the engineering streams, you can be eligible for applying for the short service commission technical course. Okay. Uh, now we will move on to the selection procedure. So you may have a question that okay, the written exam will not take place. So how we will select it? How we will be selected for the for what, TGC 136 entry? It's very simple. First of all, the applications will be shortlisted. So whatever online applications you will be filling in and submitting, the integrated headquarters of Ministry of Defense of Army reserves the right to shortlist the applications and they will fix the cutoff percentage of marks for every engineering discipline or stream which is cumulatively obtained up to 6th semester for engineering degree course or 2nd semester for MSc computer science or 8th semester for architecture without assigning any reason. So it is up to them what cutoff percentage they will fix for each stream or discipline. Now after shortlisting the applications, the center allotment will be intimated to the candidate via their email. So make sure that your email ID is not changed. So use one permanent email ID that you use for online application because also if you are planning to change your email ID after online application, don't do that because all the center allotment uh, news and everything will be informed through your official email ID by which you will be registering for the online application. Now after the selection centers are allotted, candidates will have to log into their website and check their SSB dates on a first come first serve basis and after checking they can select their SSB dates as per their convenience. Next is SSB interview. So once you have selected your SSB dates and you have also known about which SSB center to go to, you will be, that means you are shortlisted obviously for SSB interview. The eligible candidates depending on their cutoff percentage will be interviewed in various selection centers like Allahabad in UP, Bhopal in MP, Bangalore in Karnataka and Kapurthala in Punjab by psychologist, group testing officer or GTO and interviewing officer or IO. And call-up letter for SSB interview will be issued by respective selection centers through candidates registered email ID and SMS only. So this is the reason why I am telling you again and again not to change your phone number or email ID by which you have or which you are going to register in the online application for this entry because only through your email ID or SMS in your phone numbers they will be giving you all the information. Also, after you have recommended in the SSB interview, what happens next is you have to wait for the merit list. Now, it must be noted that mere qualifying uh, at the SSB interview that is getting recommended in SSB will not confirm your final selection. You have to wait for the merit list, which will be prepared in by engineering stream or subject wise on the basis of the marks which a candidate has obtained in SSB interview. Those in the merit list and who come within the stipulated streamwise vacancies and are medically fit uh, will be issued joining letters for pre-commissioning training at IMA Dehradun. So this will be the final merit list where your name will be published and if your name is there obviously you will get a joining letter for IMA Dehradun. Now we will move on to the types of commission for TGC 136 entry. By this entry what type of commission you will be granted? The selected candidates will be granted short service commission on probation in the rank of lieutenant from the date of commencement of the course or the date of reporting at IMA whichever is letter. After that your commission will be made permanent. So first you have to successfully complete your training. After that you will be granted permanent commission in the army in the rank of lieutenant. Then comes the anti-date seniority. It's a one year anti-date seniority which will be issued to you from the date of commission and it will be granted to engineering graduates of TGC entry in the rank of lieutenant. The total duration of training will be 49 weeks and it will take place at IMA that is Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. Now, how to apply for TGC 136 entry? So I hope that all of you have gone through the eligibility criteria, the types of commission and the selection procedure. And if you see that you are eligible, you should also know how to start your application process, which is going to start from 11th of May 2022 itself. So first of all, you should note that the TGC 136 entry application will be accepted only online. 
and you have to online uh, you know go online and apply for this entry by clicking on the apply online button on their official website which is www.joinindianarmy.nic.in so by logging into their website you can click on apply online and then you can start filling up your online application form for tgc 136 entry now you should also know about the important dates which you should note down because if you are interested for TGC 136 entry it's all about the dates you need to be very careful about. The TGC 136 application start date is 11th May 2022. The TGC 136 application last date is 9th June 2022. So make sure that you are filling the online application form well in advance and not waiting for the very last day because some technical issues may occur and some or the other things may come up and you can miss this entry. So it's better that you start your application process well in advance. The TGC 136 SSP cutoff percentage marks will be declared around August or September 2022 and they will also give you uh, uh, tell you which uh, candidates are shortlisted and you will be called for SSP. Now the TGC 136 SSB dates will be between October and November 2022. You will have your SSB uh, in those two months, whichever date you choose. And then after that, you will be waiting for the merit list and the course, uh, the merit list will once it is published, you have to wait for the course to start for 30, TGC 136 and that will be around January 2023. So I hope that this particular session is clear to you as I have in very great detail explained each and every eligibility criteria to you as well as the selection procedure and how you can start your application and also what are the dates that you need to mark for yourself if you want to apply for TGC 136 entry. Also last but not the least thing to know is that as I've already mentioned before we are giving one year full access to all the candidates preparing for SSB interviews uh, for our SSB online course which is available inside our app. As you all know, it's a full-fledged course and you can also get to see all the materials, practice sets and everything for one year and also attend our regular live classes which happens on monthly batches and regular basis. So that's a golden opportunity for you. You can all start preparing very well by taking help of this particular course for one year. Also, if you're preparing for any other defense written exam, we have the courses for them too. So also don't forget to check out all the courses that we have provided for you through our app. So download our app today and do not forget to use the code warrior10 because this code will help you to get a 10% additional discount on all our courses. So I hope that the session is quite informative and helpful for you. I will see you next with something more helpful, informative for your written defense exams as well as for SSP interview. I wish you all the best. Start your preparation from today. Wait for the online application process to start for TGC 136 entry. Fill up your online application, go to SSB, get recommended and be a part of the Indian Army. So I'll see you next with something more interesting. Till then, stay tuned to SSB crack exams and always stay positive and motivated. Jai Hind.